Not spicy enough. Contains palm oil. It's hot pad season and you don't want to use the store-bought hot pad base. Today I'm going to show you the best Sichuan spicy hot pad base you can make at home. Just melt it whenever you want to have hot pads and it's easier than you think. Let's get started. First, let's prepare about 100 gram of dry chili. I'm using chilies from Sichuan for the best flavor and medium spiciness. You can also mix in different kinds of chilies. Chili arbo, Thai chilies are also good options. Take out about 9 chilies for garnish later. Cut the chilies into sections and shake out the seeds. The purpose of this step is to release the seeds so that the hot pot base is not too spicy. You can use a strainer to shake out even more seeds from the peppers. Next, we will add boiling hot water to the chilies. Soak for 20 to 30 minutes. While waiting, let's prepare the aromatics. Wash the cilantro to remove any dirt. Cut in half. Slice one large piece of peeled ginger. Slice half an onion. Chop green onions into sections. Here are the other ingredients we need. 1 tablespoon of fermented black soybeans, a half cup of dou banjang, 1 tablespoon of rock sugar, 3 tablespoons of Sichuan peppercorn, 10 white cardamom, 1 black cardamom, 1 star anise, 2 pieces of Chinese cinnamon, 2 bay leaves, and 5 grams of fennel seeds. Drain the chilies, add to a food processor. Blend until they become a coarse paste. You can also chop up the chilies with a knife or use a mortar and pestle. Now the chili paste is ready. Let's remove it to a container. Next, we're going to use some Shaoxing wine to soak the spices. Add Shaoxing wine to the spice mix and Sichuan peppercorn. Mix well so everything is covered by the liquid. The purpose of Shaoxing wine is to release the flavor of spices and prevent overcooking. We're using beef tallow for the hot pot base today, and I ordered this grass-fed beef tallow off of Amazon. Add beef tallow to a wok or large pot. Turn on the heat to melt tallow completely. Drop in the aromatics. Slowly fry for about 10 to 15 minutes until the aromatics starts to brown. The smell it's producing is amazing. It just smells like chengdu. It's very aromatic. And you can see the vegetables, they're kind of dehydrated now. And another five minutes, it should be done. Then we will take out the aromatics with a strainer. Reduce heat to low or turn off the heat during this step to prevent overheating. Gently put in the chili paste and stir. Adding the spices. Remember to drink the cooking wine before putting them in. Cook on low heat for 10 minutes. Add Sichuan doubanjang and fermented black beans. Simmer for 8 minutes while gently stirring from time to time to avoid sticking to the bottom. Add Sichuan peppercorn and sugar. Cook for 2 more minutes. 
Turn off the heat and let cool for a while. This hot pot base is in a deep red color and smells extremely aromatic. All the flavors from the spices and chilies are fully released in the soup base. Pour the oil along with the solid content into a heat resistant container. Stir to even out the mixture. Add the bay leaf and leftover dry chilies for garnishing. They'll float on the surface. So now we have our hot pot base made and it's still hot and liquid. All we need to do is wait for it to solidify. You don't have to use beef tallow, you can totally use canola oil or olive oil to make it more healthier but the only difference is that it's not going to solidify and it won't have that traditional Sichuan tallow hot pot flavor. So traditionally we don't add a lot of salt in the soup base. Uh, we have hot pot dipping sauce when you make on your own. So you dip the ingredients and then dip it in your dipping sauce. That's where you add salt to your hot pot. Yes, if you want to see how to make the not spicy soup of the hot pot, like this video because I have an amazing recipe that I know you'll love. After leaving in the fridge for 24 hours, the hot pot base is fully solidified. We can cut the solidified soup base into 4 small blocks. You can now store the leftover soup base blocks for 2 weeks in the fridge or up to 6 months in the freezer. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any new videos. Thanks so much for hanging. I'll see you next time.